From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with the latest details on your financial markets, your economy, and of course, your four stimulus check update of 2022. As a four stimulus check has now landed in every US state, we're going to go over those incredible checks, how to get it in today's recording. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the Build Back Better Act is heating up with a potential vote this month. That's on top of those four stimulus checks that are coming by direct deposit this June 2022 for the membership of this channel. We'll go over those incredible checks in today's recordings from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Then back over to what the J-PAL group at the Federal Reserve will be doing this week talking about the FOMC meeting of June 2022. What does it mean for you? Next up, mortgage rates. The major details about those surging mortgage, number, mortgage numbers in view of the housing data released just today for May 30th, 2022, you're going to be shocked. Then a major deal hatched on that oil on Sunday may bring your price of rent crude internationally Currently, last week at 111 to 185 a barrel. Are you ready to feel the pinch of the pump? I have the latest details in today's afternoon's Allied from the shores of Santa Monica, California. But the great news is that a four symbol check is in every U.S. state. And as you come back from Memorial Day weekend, you need this check. Today, for May 30th, as we go into the month of June, we're going to go over this four symbol check coming by direct deposit in the month of June. We're going to go over the Build Back Better Act, those big money in there, the SS300, the student loan debt forgiveness, and then where this economy is going. It's a great day, and we have a lot of money. Stay to the very end. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, stay with me over this incredible broadcast as we go over those incredible sums of money. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the excitement of America's most beloved show at Afternoons starts in just a second. But first, subscribe, become a member, and get that four stimulus check coming up later in this recording. We'll go over all the incredible details of how you get this money. It's Afternoons LA, and the details start right now, right here, for May 30th, 2022, on Afternoons. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. It is May 30th, 2022. As we go into the month of June, we have big checks for you, huge checks, upwards of $85,000, single, married, young, without children, with children, rent or own. I got big checks for you. They're coming up in today's recording. Stay with me over this big broadcast. We're going to go over these incredible checks, and there's big surprises later in this recording. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get ready for these four stimulus checks now in every U.S. state. It's coming up later in this recording. But first, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act, the latest details on that. The economic numbers that came out today that impact Build Back Better Act. What's going on with that student loan debt forgiveness? What's going on with the six stimulus, and then what's going on with j Powell and that Federal Reserve. We start today with the news that I broke last Friday. If you remember this channel, it's very important to always be in touch with everything that's happening. And late Friday night going into Memorial Day weekend, I said a major developing story was happening. The price of gasoline, international Brent crude, had surged out of control this last Friday before Memorial Day weekend started. From 114 a barrel to 122. I said, what's going on here? Immediately, I checked my notes, and everything I had said the week before actually was happening. When we talked about Nancy Pelosi in 2020, she always used those words, imminent, around the corner, tomorrow, just right happening today. And we always laugh them off because nothing ever happened. <laughs> well, that's not how they talk, apparently, in Europe. Because last week, the head of the European Commission said... In just days, they're going to reach a deal on oil. And I said, sure, <laughs> sure, it's just going to be within days. Well, it was within days. It was actually within hours. And they had the deal announced on Friday 
And they said this last Sunday they're going to sign it into law in Brussels. A deal to ban Russian oil finally from all the Western allies. I know it took another few months, all the way from March, all the way up to June. But here came the announcement. And that is why the price of Brent crude surged out of control Friday. Saturday higher, Saturday, Sunday higher. And as we go into a brand new week, it's going even higher. Where are we today? This is breaking news, folks. The European Commission has signed that deal that will now ban Russian oil in all the Western allies with the exception of three countries that got waivers. Slovakia, Russia, and the Czech Republic. This is going to really be impacting you at the pump starting tomorrow. The price of gasoline for the international Brent crude surged from about 114 to suddenly 123 upon the news. Then it continued to surge higher. How high is it going to go? This is breaking news you're hearing for the first time ever on Ally. I had said to you yesterday that with the changing developing details of this major announcement on Sunday and China coming off a lockdown, I predict it's going to go to about 130 a barrel from about 114 last week. Here is what some analysts are now saying. 185. Oh, boy. Okay. So now, <laughs> as if that's not scaring you enough. Do you need another shot of coffee? Yeah, I need, just, <laughs> yeah, need another shot of coffee. Uh, if To not scare you enough, let me tell you what's hitting like a double whammy at the same time. Yeah, China's coming off of lockdown today. China's coming off of lockdown today and tomorrow, and the deal on the oil is being reached at the same time. Oh, boy, that stings. <laughs> Here we go. So you think you are paying a lot at the pump? Uh, take that number and increase it by 20%. Yeah, this is a major changing of the guard. What's going on? Well, the Russian deal, the, the deal to ban Russian oil was solidified by the EU leaders on Sunday, as I had predicted they were going to do last week, but I didn't think they were going to come in that quickly. The deal was hatched, and of course, um, it was only delayed for just a few hours by Hungary, which is a big fan of Russia, but um, they got it. They, they are banning 75% of, all, they're banning all Russian oil, but they're banning 75% of Russian oil imports. They are not banning natural gas. Let me make that very clear. For many of my international viewers, you're worried you're not going to have natural gas to heat your home in the winter. They didn't do that. The European Council agrees the sixth package of sanction. Here's why I call it six stimulus package. And against Russia, which will cover crude oil as well as petroleum products delivered from Russia into member states, with the exception of crude oil delivered by pipeline, said the statement uh, released today, which is actually tomorrow, uh, uh, obtained by LA News uh, just right now. This shutdown of Russian oil, according to J.P. Morgan, could bring the price to 185 a barrel. Did you ever need a stimulus check? <laughs> oh boy, you're really going to need one now. If you thought inflation needed to cause you to have a stimulus check, <laughs> this recording is going to need you to have a stimulus check. You're probably just you can't even get past the second minute mark of the, of the video. So, LA, I need a stimulus check right now. You're scaring the socks off of me. Well, I'm not scaring you. I'm just telling you the reality. One eighteen a barrel is what the international price of Brent crude was last week. Then by the end of the week, it went to one twenty three. Now they're saying it's going to go to 185. I said yesterday it could go to 135 when China comes off of lockdown. So what's China doing? <laughs> they're coming off of lockdown. Yeah, it's just, it's just like a double whammy. This is why you don't go away for the weekend, because you come back and you're drunk and you're like, oh, what I miss? Oh, my God. They're selling the house? <laughs> yeah, they're selling the house. Here we go. So China is on lockdown. So that's one of the major things is, is coming out of lockdown tomorrow, which is basically today. It's Wednesday China time. Uh, and... Here we go. So they are one of the major consumers of gasoline. The shortage will increase. The shortage will then drive up the prices higher. And then there's no gasoline to replace it with. Isn't that charming? Is that charming? How much gasoline are we missing? We're missing 2.5 million barrels a day. 2.5 million barrels a day. And do they have a solution set up to, 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 to offset this? No, of course not. Of course not. No one in the Western allies has a solution set up to offset this. And this is after China comes off of lockdown, starting on Wednesday. Uh, it's just one of those days. Um, and uh, Hungary uh, was trying to block it, but President Ursula von Leyen said, no, 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 it's Brussels, and we do sugar-free Brussels sprouts and Brussels uh, cake there. <laughs> 
we need something crazy like that, especially when we're going to 185 a barrel and we have no replacement. How bad is this going to be at the pump? Uh, it's it's going to be really bad. Um, how does this translate to you and your wallet at the pump? Expect an average gasoline price in the United States of $7, $7, $8. It's, just, it's going to keep on going higher. If you thought it's ridiculous at 4 ridiculous at $5 a, a gallon, ridiculous at $6, how about $8? It's just the price is wrong. It's a new game show. This is a new game show. With your host, Vladimir Putin. There you go. Uh, this is why you need a force symbol check yesterday. A force normal check is dramatically needed because this Russian oil situation is good long term, short term, not good. With this embargo, the Russian oil, and now China coming off of lockdown this Wednesday, all within the same week, that means you cannot afford something you already couldn't afford back in the month of March. These numbers are surging out of control, and that is why you need to get a force normal check. And that is why back in the month of March, I found that check for you. These four symbol tracks are in every U.S. state. And in this recording, I'm going to go over how you get them. How you get them right today. Not five weeks now, not five months now, right today. Because you want to fill up your car with gasoline right now, park it, not drive it for the next three months and start cashing some more symbol checks because this is out of control. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So who is Joe Biden meeting in the White House today? <laughs> I would have pull off this joke the right way and not butcher it. Uh, the White House is inviting new advocates for student loan debt forgiveness uh, at the White House today. Who are they? The uh, the Korean ba uh, boy band. Uh, <laughs> BTS. BTS is coming to the White House today to advocate for student loan debt forgiveness. No, they aren't. They're just going there to teach Joe some new dance moves for, you know, when he doesn't get Joe Manchin to do what he wants. Uh, <laughs> why is BTS in the Oval Office? Because they're renaming the Build Back Better Act, the BTS Act. You know, build, it still won't pass. <laughs> uh, excuse me, why is the president inviting BTS? I adore BTS. I absolutely adore them. I credit them to my ability for my health recovery because I really did listen to their music and sang it off key and it, it just made me feel so much better. I, I adore their songs. Uh, you know, Dynamite is sort of one of those songs that I, uh, I, I sing to myself every time Mitch McConnell comes on camera. Uh, Explosion. <laughs> Butter is a, is a song that I sing to myself every time that Joe Manchin comes on camera and he's talking to J uh, Joe Biden. Butter him up. Butter him up. <laughs> there we go. And uh, 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 um, <laughs> permission to dance. That's every time that you, you think about a San Francisco hairstyle. And you're like, no, permission to dance. You have permission to dance with that. <laughs> BTS is in the Oval Office because we don't have student loan debt forgiveness debt. We haven't called the Social Security Administration ahead to swap call for inflation. We haven't gotten to the Build Back Better Act done just yet. But, you know, why not improve the music in the iPhone? <laughs> In the iPads, the Oval Office. If you got nothing else to achieve this week, at least you upgrade the, the, the music on rotation. <laughs> I just don't know. You know, I just, I, just, I, I know I'm going off a tangent. I just don't understand why the president of all weeks, all weeks, this is the week he's inviting BTS to the Oval Office. Can we invite BTS to the Oval Office and let's like all dance when we pass the Bill Bat Act? You know, you can have James Corbin do it, and we do, just do it like, you know, BTS has been on James Corbin like 900 times, and they just jump on top of things, and they're always jumping on top of desks and jumping on top of tractor trailers. They can jump on top of the oval, on top of uh, this. <laughs> they can jump on top of this furniture and just sort of celebrate the passage of the Build Back Better Act. Why? Because when the Build Back Better Act passes, we need to celebrate. Three costs and three add-ons to pay you fifteen dollars to $80,000, and there's so much to celebrate in there, with the exception of the paid leave, which Joe Manchin is going to take out. Um, so no, we're not going to celebrate that. Uh, with the exception of the the money for seniors, the dental, vision, and hearing, um, no, we wouldn't uh, dance on that one. Uh, you know, <laughs> maybe that's good for bringing back uh, BTS right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> Before Joe mentioned Butcher's the Bill Back Better Act, I do believe that all those otherwise great provisions in there are going to survive. And I'm going to cover more about them tonight on Evening's LA. In fact, also on Evening's LA, I'll see which song that the president sung in the White House. Uh, <laughs> coming up tonight. Uh, yeah, the world's just going to screw. It's <laughs> just going to screw. We aren't getting student loan debt forgiveness done and let's distract it by bringing in a boy band. The student loan debt forgiveness really heated up before the Labor Day, before the Memorial Day weekend. And why was it? Because the president really, he he rolled his dice and then he basically didn't move, sort of like um, Mitch McConnell every time that a BTS song comes on, doesn't move, uh, doesn't know how to dance. Uh, Joe Biden did not move on that student loan debt forgiveness number uh, since day one of his administration. So what did he do? Uh, I'm going to be blunt with this. I, I, I'm not going to mince my words. He toyed with people. Joe Biden, you toyed with people on the student loan debt forgiveness. If you never want to do more than $10,000, just do it and then do it by executive order. I mean, just do it. Have Miguel Cardona do it. Joe Biden played with everyone on student loan debt forgiveness. He played with us. He played with us. And shame on you, Joe Biden. Uh, if you didn't want to do another number, just do it. I mean, you're not elected to just toy with people for two years. You toyed with people. Number one, you told them, Miguel Cardona, go figure out um, how to forgive student loan debts when you were going to do $10,000. You said, um, let me think about it. I'll look at the situation when you already decide on $10,000. You invited people to the White House last week who knew who um, who were not going to accept $10,000 to tell them $10,000. And they said, no, we're not doing $10,000. I'm not against the number $10,000. I'm against someone toying with us. And you should have done that and moved on to something else. Like um, learning the lyrics to butter. <laughs> There was so much else you could have achieved in the last year and a half that you were toying with the American people on $10,000. Just do the $10,000 and move on. It's just, you know, there was always going to be people upset with the with the offer. What is the status on this? The status <laughs> the status is Mitch can still not dance to BTS. Yes. Uh, the status is that the, uh, the $10,000 offer on the table is not formalized because there is so much anger about it. In fact, they're protesting. They're calling it a slap in the face. The offer is $10,000 for individuals who make $75,000, uh, excuse me, $150,000 or less, and families who make $300,000 or less. What do I think is going to happen? I think he's just going to, you know, pass it out and make it law on a Friday night at 7 o'clock one night, at one week, and, and, and just move on to another situation. He should have done this months ago, and it's just sort of blowing up in his face. So... <laughs> <laughs> Who else is in the Oval Office today? In the Oval Office today is not just um, <laughs> is not just V is is not just Rap Monster. <laughs> if you don't know who Rap Monster is, uh, RM that is uh, that is the leader of the group, the leader of the group uh, that. <laughs> You become the leader of BTS. You speak English, so you can tell Joe. So you can tell Joe Manchin, pass the bill back, better act. <laughs> That's how you get to become leader of BTS. So you can speak English to tell Joe Manchin, what are you doing here, Joe? Come on, let's do this bill back, better act. Uh, who is the White House inviting today? Two groups of people. One, the group of BTS, and second, J Pop. <laughs> I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. We're ending Memorial Day weekend with a ba bang, and the bang is Jay Powell's coming to the Oval Office either before or after BTS. I don't... <laughs> this is what's happening with Jay Powell. He's going to come in after BTS is there. He says, everyone's revved up. You're all too elevated. You're all, you know, you're all at new highs. i got to bring you down. I'm going to raise interest rates. <laughs> You're all dancing. You're all too motivated. You, the, the, this, is, this is what we don't allow here. You're too in, in, in elevated, like inflation. I got need to bring you down by raising some more interest rates. Why is Jay Powell in the, in, in the Oval Office? Again, it's optics, uh, but it's really bad optics. If I was Ron Clay and the President's Chief of Staff, I would never even have Jay Powell anywhere in the Oval Office. Why? Hi, Jay Powell. Let's introduce our, our um, Fed head. He's the guy who's about to do a half basis point increase in the month of July, half basis point in the month of June, a quarter basis in the month of August. Your inflation is not coming down. Supply chain disruption is still here. And he's the guy I nominated. Yeah, I, I would not want a photo opportunity with this guy. I would not. I would not want to. I would stay far away. Why? Because j Powell is responsible for the inflation going higher, for misguiding on inflation, 
for raising your interest rates, for sending you in the recession. And 76% of Americans equate, associate, blame Joseph Biden for what Jay Powell's done. It's very much in the, in the, in the polls. Americans blame the economic problems that are at hand right now on Joe Biden that were caused by Jay Powell. If you have higher interest rates, they're blaming Joe Biden. If you have higher, um, if you have uh, if you have elevated inflation that was misguided in 2021, they blame Joe Biden. And then if you have higher mortgage rates, they blame Joe Biden. This is all Jay Powell's fault. <laughs> what do you do? You hug him and you smile together. You take a picture together. Yeah, that's exactly the person you stay far away from. Uh, so all the all the cachet he's getting from BTS, he should just basically. Um, Sidestep, <laughs> sidestep out and butter out himself out the, the side door of the Oval Office before Jay Powell comes. Jay Powell coming to the Oval Office today will just um, solidify that the president really, with his pick of Jay Powell last year, got it wrong. Um, and the situation is very fluid. Now, tonight on Amy's Alley, we're going to have a big primetime special about where this money is. I know that it, it looks like a hot mess express in today's video. It isn't it always? <laughs> isn't it always? Uh, but um, the fact that um, that rap monster will hopefully ease the tensions in the in the o Oval Office. <laughs> Maybe rap monster RM can go over to the Congress and speak to Joe Manchin and 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 you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give him some dynamite. Uh, <laughs> we can get that Bill Back Better Act out the door. But you don't need to wait for any of this. Why? Why? Because uh, because BTS is coming to a city now. You? <laughs> no, because of the incredible news is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. I have found that forced stimulus check for you, and it is huge. It's coming up late in the second half of this recording. Forced stimulus check in every U.S. state, and how do you get it? It's coming up in just a second. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. After the, after the commercial break, we're also going to go over where this economy is going and why it's going down very quickly and how the confusion of economic downturn confuses so many people. You may not understand what a recession is. You may not understand what inflation is. You may not understand what stagflation is. But you understand it's impacting you negatively. I'll be looking at what the data shows us today that's brand new that we didn't have just yesterday. And it's data that shows that people are spending based upon an idea that everything is going to still stay good. Unfortunately, it's not. And I'll explain to you why in the second half. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, get ready for the second half. In the second half, we are going to sidestep into a force to most shock now in every U.S. state. It's huge. And what do you need to know? What you need to know is that these checks were done by the President of the United States. They're for you. Single individuals, married couple. With children, without children. On benefits, not on benefits. Uh, red states, blue states, they are everywhere. And they're absolutely incredible. Plus, I have a commentary more about these checks you never seen before until this afternoon's show. Uh, and with that, we'll be going over all that incredible sums of money and what you need to know being going into tonight's Evenings LA. It's a big show for May 30th, 2022. See you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues right now on the big, big second half of afternoons LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is May 30th, 2022, as we're about to start the month of June, and those June direct deposit of four seamless checks are coming. I'll go over how to get those incredible checks in this big second half. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that newsletter Monday through Friday via the YouTube alert system. And step four, stay with me in the second half. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. Then we'll be turning to the recessionary pressures at the issue and what it means for the rest of this economy and why that data that came in from the housing market today signals that we are really in a bubble wipe environment about to hit to a recession. But first, let's get some checks. Let's get lots of checks. And they start right now, back in the month of March, in the month of March 2022. Viewers are saying to me, oh, like, can you find me a check? And I said, sure, let me look. A forced to check? Let me look. And I found it. Lots of them in every U.S. state. If you're new to this channel, let me tell you what you're watching. This is the number three most watched financial news channel in America with the number one most watched show in prime time every night for financial news. Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. I go over the latest of the economy and where it's going. But more importantly, I also get you stimulus. I get you stimulus. I don't report on the stimulus. I actually get it for you. I search high and low and I find it for you. So the, the breadth of the coverage you have when it comes to stimulus, you ain't going to see anywhere else. You're not going to see in your local news, your cable news, your print, your other YouTube channels. You're only going to see it here. That's what happened in March. Viewers said, Ali, can you find us checks? And I did. I looked high and low. These are the checks I found for you. First, let's go over eligibility. As a longtime viewer, Kat said in the live chat on Eating's LA last weekend, LA, you're so good on eligibility. These are checks for you. If you're $75,000 or less annual income, single individual, marry a couple, $150,000 or less. If you rent or you own, you have children, you don't have children, and there we go. Let's get to them right now. These are monster checks, and where did I find them? How do they happen? They happened the executive order from Joseph Biden and also from your states. There's a lot of ways to get you stimulus, and the ways involved Congress hasn't happened yet. The president has happened, and the states has happened. And let's go over those incredible checks starting right now. Remember, these are monster checks. I don't subscribe for small little puny checks that run out in a few days. I go for big monster checks. And let's look at those big checks starting right now. The first check is $6,500 or $12,000. It's a check A. It's a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. $75,000 less, same single individual, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, RB or similar, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. The link to become a member is under the video. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then go down to that newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and find Check A right at the top. There it is. Click the link in the Check A, and that link to apply goes right into the nationwide website. You choose your state, and you have pounds. It's the Home Weatherizing Grant Check. Click it, and you're done. $6,500 to $12,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. But we ain't done there yet. The next check you're going to get is check B, a fifteen to eighty thousand dollar forced stimulus check. That is not a typographical error. It is back very much the case. Viewers are getting on average sixty six thousand to eighty thousand. When was the last time someone got you an eighty thousand dollar stimulus check? Probably never until you found this channel. Single individual, seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. This is called the homeowners grant. How do you get this? So simple. Subscribe. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Then go down and get that membership newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down the newsletter to you find check B, click the link, and apply. And you got it. There you go. Now let's go to the next check you can get, and that's for my renters. Check C. It is a $2,000 over 12-month average check MSC, baby. These multiple or monthly, IR, uh, monthly or multiple stimulus checks are huge. 
and Vue has been getting this for a long time. This is Third Stimulus. This is the residue of Third Stimulus, but I've renamed it Fourth Stimulus. How long have Vue has been getting these checks? For over nearly two years, starting December 2020, when I show people how to get these checks in the middle of the pandemic. Then when Third Stimulus became law, I said, guess what? The same checks are now been added to Third Stimulus, just a lot more money of it. And I said, let's go get them. And what did viewers do? They got monster sums of money. Let's look at the sums of money that viewers have been getting from Check C for nearly two years. Twenty to thirty thousand dollars for rent, up to fifteen thousand dollars for utilities like Mark's brother-in-law. Twenty-five thousand dollars a year over ten years for Snap like Mark's brother-in-law. Here's Nisi. She was at twenty-three thousand. She's in all the live chats nightly. Now she keeps on getting eight thousand dollars every few weeks. She's over thirty thousand. Here's Mark at thirty-two thousand. Uh, actually, Nisi's over fifty thousand. Mark went from thirty-two thousand to fifty thousand, then to one hundred thousand. Now at one sixty-six because he got checked. B. And here's Lorraine. She went from 105 to 120 and keeps on getting big sums of money. Let's recap some of the nuances of that starting right now. Step one, subscribe. Go right on this video and hit that subscribe button. Step two, become a member. The member link is right on the video. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Make sure you sign up for that membership. Then get that membership newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. At 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you'll likely get two YouTube alerts. The first one will be about stream stimulus, the video airing at that time. And then the newsletter. It'll say new LA post. It'll say right there, LA newsletter. And then right below it says click here to open the post. You go right into that new LA post. There it is. There's the entire newsletter. A, check A, B, C, and more. Now, if you have questions about how to manipulate the newsletter, how to open the newsletter, where it is, and everything else about it, send me a private message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash LA Light News. And I will send you what's been reported as a very, very helpful video. I've had absolutely rave reviews for viewers. It's a special how-to video about how to use the newsletter, and I will send it to you. Again, that's at facebook.com forward slash LA News. I think my turnaround time on responding to people is less than about uh, five hours, sometimes eight hours on a weekend, but really quick turnaround time. So I'm very, very proud of that. And there you go. Now, I want to go into a couple of other things to go over with these four symbol checks in every U.S. state. 99.99% of you do it right, and there's always a one or two percent that does things wrong. And so I want to ensure that the wrong does not proliferate anymore. Some people just do things wrong, and I don't know why. When I make the videos and I go over the four stimulus checks, you got to do it exactly like I said in the video. There's no version of what I say in the video. So step one is you must become a member. There's some people who are faking their members. <laughs> Not going to fake it with me. Don't fake you're a member. The most obvious way to fake a membership to me is you say, uh, I made a phone call for Check B. No, you're not calling for Check B. You're not calling for Check A. There are online applications. There's no one to answer the phone for Check A. There's no one to answer the phone for Check B. You're applying online. Number two, there are some people when they get to uh, A or B, where uh, they are describing things that make no sense. <laughs> Uh, in the case of B, um, someone recently said something like, um, had not launched in my state, had not gone live. Yes, it's live in every U.S. state. S and that person again made a phone call. <laughs> That's why you don't digress from what I see in the videos. You follow along exactly what I say. A, go in the membership newsletter, click the link. B, go in the membership newsletter, click the link. C, go in the membership newsletter, I tell you the 15 places to make a phone call for. And that brings me to the check C examples. This is the most common example of where someone goes, uh, digresses from how I teach it on this channel. And you know how I'm, what I'm about to say. In the case of check C, they don't make the 15 phone calls. They make one call and they call it a day. And they say, you know, I made one call and I got a no and I stopped. Well, good. You don't deserve money. <laughs> Did I say that bluntly? I did say that bluntly. You don't deserve money. If you make one phone call and you stop, then you don't deserve money. Because I've said on the videos for this channel for two years that you have about a 50% rejection rate. So you have to make enough phone calls to get some yeses. Next, anyone that does not read the newsletter and just sort of glances over it will do it wrong. 
Here's an example when we're talking about check C. In the case of check C, I just tell you exactly what to say. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Because this feels exactly like 2020. I've been making the same version of this according to 2020. In 2020, I had people saying the wrong stuff. And I said, stop it. Say exactly what I say in the videos. Rent assistance because of COVID. Utility assistance because of COVID. Mortgage assistance because of COVID. Don't say, and I used to have a whole list of things don't say. I just stopped saying don't say. Just, just say these words. I just, just record the positive. Just say these words. Don't say something else like, you know, uh, lobster teeny. <laughs> well, guess what happened? In the last few days, a few people have said, you know, I picked up a phone and I asked for check C and they didn't know what I'm talking about. Well, of course they don't know what they're talking, what you're talking about. I specifically say, just use these words and check C is not among the words. You know, when you and I talk, we have our own way of talking and communicating as part of the Purple Power community. And as the Purple Power community is our way that you and I understand what's going on. But when I get to the specifics of a check, and how to get it, I say, do it exactly this way. So don't go off script. Don't improvise. Don't do a version of what I say. Hi, I'm calling up as a purple hawk. Where's my purple hawk money? Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> What's a purple hawk? <clears throat> is that like is that is that the, is that the boy band group that's going to the White House tomorrow? <laughs> Is that another group out of South Korea? The, the Purple Hawks? <laughs> don't do a version of what I say in the recordings. And if you if you don't listen, I don't, I don't know what to say uh, other than um, turn down the BTS music. It's too on too, hot, too loud. That's why you can't hear me. <laughs> now let's go back uh, to... Um, let's go back to Joe. Uh, Joe in that soon loan debt forgiveness is a debacle. And... I don't know what's going to happen of it. I think he's just going to go with the ten thousand. I think the fifty thousand dollars is just going to blow up in his face, and I don't know how long he's going to belabor the subject matter. Next, J. Powell, it's, you know, J. Powell is going to be in the White House, and he's going to say the typical thing you expect J. Powell to say. And I'm going to have it tonight on Eaton's LA. j Powell's going to say, I'm getting inflation down to 2% later this year. That's like me saying, I'm getting Mitch McConnell to be able to dance to butter by, by December. It's just never happening. It's just never happening. I can't even uh, get Mitch McConnell to dance to, you know, to... Uh, uh, to 1920s ballet, ballet music. <laughs> you know, uh, it's just never happening. j Powell's not going to get inflation out of 2%. And that is what CBO, the Department of Labor, all confirming my numbers going into the weekend. If you missed that, let me recap. This is big. First, I had said that inflation was to stay hot at 8% and not come down despite what j Powell's doing with his moves. And now... I also said that inflation would track at about 4% later this year. Well, guess what the CBO and the Department of Labor have now said? You're right, Ally. It's going to come in at 3.8% 3 by December. That's big if you're on benefits. Why? Because if Joe makes that swap from COLA to inflation, a rap monster, make the, pick up the phone and give it to the president when you're in the Oval Office. Uh, Joe, call Social Security. <laughs> Why, rap monster? Well, if you do, I will, um, I will autograph a lobster for Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just give him the phone when you're in the old office. Say, hey, make that swap from cola to inflation. Make the swap from cola to inflation. And, uh, you know, I, I just sense by the end of this video, everyone's going to be looking up uh, stimulus checks and rap monster. <laughs> They'll be like, who is this person, rap monster? Uh, <laughs> and V. And then I'll say, go look up V. And they're like, V, how do you spell that? Uh, v, how do you spell that? V. V E E? No, V. Just go, just go. Yeah, this is very confusing. Yeah, it is very confusing. <laughs> this is why you have James Corbin do this type of stuff, not me. Um, the, James Corbin has booked BTS more than the president. So I guess that shows you um, uh, how the government's going. <laughs> so there you go. Um, the, then we have that GDP. The GDP uh, shows where this economy is going, and it ain't going anywhere good. The numbers out of labor and CBO going into the weekend shows that my guidance on this number, numbers are correct as well. I've been saying that the U.S. economy is shrinking, that the growth is shrinking, all because of Jay Powell, and that we're going into recession for two years starting next year. To determine a recession, we have to have two negative quarters of GDP growth. So we did shrink, and how much are we going to shrink? Well, we're somewhere around 6.9% right now. We're shrinking down to 1% or 2% by start of next year, says CBO and Department of Labor. 
That's right on the money because I say we're going to zero by the end of this year and negative thereafter. And that would signal full-on recession starting the next year. So what is the president preparing to do for the recession? Uh, improve his dance moves. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that is why I need you to get every stimulus check that's available right now. There's going to be a stimulus stampede in, in 90 days out from now. It's June, July, August. Pencil in August, but it's because by August you're going to have that stimulus stampede. I'm going to feature more about this stimulus stampede in prime time tonight. It's important to know that uh, the financial carnage is what is what Silicon Valley is referring to is far more scary than what I just call stimulus stampede. Stimulus stampede sounds like people running. Um, but financial carnage sounds a lot worse. Let me give you my insight into it right now. As we finish Memorial Day weekend, what did we see, at least here in Southern California? Everyone has their own impact, opinion or impact on what they're seeing. But what I saw was no commerce in the, in the middle class working America environment. All the businesses that are dependent upon working class people showing up in the stores and buying products, empty, empty, high-end, busy, high-end traveling, busy, flying to that beautiful destination for Memorial Day weekend, busy, low-end, um, not so much. And so what I see is that, and I'm not the only one that report, is reporting this today, that people really spent a lot of money on gasoline over this Memorial Day weekend, last Memorial Day weekend, thinking that good times are here to stay. They spent money on luxury items, thinking he, good times are here to stay. They, they uh, departed from their businesses and, and hoped to come back after, Labor, after Memorial Day weekend with a full slot of money in the register. Good times are here to stay. This is what Jay Powell will be saying in the White House. That, and I got to say to you, this is a very, very complicated situation. That consumer spending is really out of control based upon the valuation of how much money people are making, how much they're saving, and how much it's costing to live. Let me say it simpler. People are spending as much money they spent in 2021, even more. They're spending perhaps more than they've ever spent in the last three years, more than 2021, more than 2020, more than 2019. And yet they are making just about only 2% more, number one. Second, they're in fear of potentially losing their jobs as the downturn of the economy is happening. Number three, the price of goods are going through the roof and they're spending the money on those prices of goods. And number four, they are really going for high end. They are not. They are buying high end, thinking that everything is going to be always there to help them. <laughs> well, I'm here to help you now. I'm here to help you now, and uh, and uh, there is money right now. Ninety days from now, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen ninety days from now, and that is why you need to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Stimulus stampede, yes, it's going to come. How severe? It's going to be very severe. The downward of spiral of this economy will be very severe. That is why you want to become a member and stay a member. Step one: subscribe to this channel. Subscribe right now. What are you waiting? Step two: become a member. What are you waiting for? You deserve membership right now. Get that emoji behind your name of a purple hawk, and you need these checks asap. If you think your situation is sort of lukewarm, not that good at the moment, get ready. Because two years of horribleness are on the horizon as we're going spiraling into recession. I need to get those big sums of money across the board. Meantime, join me tonight on Eden's L8 in prime time. It's America's most watched show for financial news. I have a lot of data because you know what? Everyone's back in town and there's going to be a lot of new data by tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, thank you for joining me on Afternoons LA. I see you tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. As America's most watched show for prime time for financial news heats up, it's Evenings LA, coming up next on LLA.